Happy Friday. I am over at 102 Forest Gardens and I wanted to give you super awesome news. This is actually the building in the complex closest to the beach. So to give you a reference point, these tennis courts are behind a building, which I know is not as easy to see, but that building is literally across the street from the beach. So all I would have to do is go down these stairs. There's already a cut path, a lady just rode her bike through. And anyways, you go over here and walk beside the tennis courts there. And once you're in front of this building, you just cross Forest Beach and that building would be on the beach. So anyways, that's awesome because this complex is kind of deep and it comes off of Cordillo, but we're at the very back of the complex, which makes it really private but also makes you closest to the beach. Okay, so let me show you the inside. It's super nice. And they've got an electronic lock, which I think is helpful, especially if you consider renting it like you will. Now this one doesn't come furnished and I know that's one of the nice features, but gives you a good idea of how you could set up the room. And I know sometimes videos don't do it justice, but it's really nice. And I know the lighting is gonna change. Right here could probably stand to have like a little lamp, but I mean, it's perfect. It's just there's no overhead light right in that space. But the lighting will fix. I do love that you have that little outdoor private porch too. And a coat closet. Now these tennis courts out this side, this is part of the Players Club in Vandermeer Tennis. So you've got tennis courts here and pretty landscape. And then there's tennis courts over that way too. So you'd be like me, my condo backs up to tennis courts as well. And then these chairs are normally situated like really nicely across from each other, but I moved one out of the way because I wanted to show you that in addition to where the HVAC is housed, you've got some storage out here. And some people I think would do that, keep their beach chairs in this closet but nice to have that extra porch and a cute place to sit. So back inside, now you can see the kitchen from this angle. And there are popcorn ceilings, which are in excellent shape. And then many of the walls have a texture, which you can probably yeah, see in this video, but it looks really nice. The paint is in excellent shape. And it looks really nice. Cool flooring. Really pretty kitchen. You've got a little bit of a mini size stove oven, but probably works when you're here for a short visit or you're like me and don't cook much. Really nice, excellent, excellent shape. And we know you wanna have the washer dryer in the unit, so that's nice. And then we've got another storage closet. Kind of a pantry catch-all kind of place. And straight back is the master, which is a super generous amount of space. I'd have to say that's at least a king bed, but could fool me, it might be a California king, but anyways, it's definitely at least a king bed. Super nice amount of space. Just to give you a reference, there's still plenty of space to walk here between the dresser and the king bed. And then you've got a nice size closet 
little attic access probably for the interior HVAC duct work and things like that. A nice bathroom. I love how they did the flooring all the way through. And now these walls in the bathroom are smooth. And really everything is in such nice shape. We've got the tub shower combo. That was smart to do that cabinet there too. And then we're back into the hallway to kind of show you the reference point here. And another nice size bedroom. And they've got like a little printer set up here, but really nice. And another nice size closet, honestly. They've got their totes and maybe some packing stuff already going. But I hope this gives you a really nice idea of this condo. And I look forward to hearing both of your thoughts.